access control and inheritance. A derived class can access all the non-private members of its base class. So, if the base class is having any private data members or function members, they are not getting inherited onto the derived class. Thus, base class members that should not be accessible to the member functions of the derived class should be declared private in the base class. So, what is happening in the base class if some members if we do not want to get inherited onto the derived class then those members are to be written under the private scope. We can summarize the following different access types and so on. So, here we are having the summary for us. So, in the same class in the same class public members protected members and private members are accessible. In the derived class public members are accessible protected members are accessible, but private members are not accessible. Outside of the class only public members are accessible, protected and private members are not accessible. So, public members are inheritable, can be accessed within the class and can be accessed outside of the class also. Protected members are inheritable, can be accessed within the class, but cannot be accessed outside of the class. So, private members are accessible from the class itself cannot be inherited, cannot be accessed from the outside of the class. So, in a gist we can say that protected members are nothing but public members which are inheritable and they are also like private members because they cannot be accessed from the outside of the class. A derived class inherits all base class methods with the following exceptions. So, there are some exceptions are there, those functions, those members in spite of the fact they are under the public will not be inherited onto the derived class. So, now we can see that constructors, destructors and copy constructors of the base class they are not inheritable. Overloaded operators of the base class they are not inheritable. The frame functions of the base class they are not inheritable. So, a derived class inherits all base class methods with the following exceptions. So, these are the three exceptions with the help of which we can say that these members are not inheritable from the base class to the derived class. So, in this way we have discussed what are the access controls in our inheritance. Thanks for watching this video.